What's up, everybody? Buddha back here again, and it's that time of month again. It is Loot Crate time. Uh, now, this month's theme was uh, combat, and I don't have any kind of um, guesses as to what's in it. There was a, a buddy of mine that got his early. Uh, he uh, said there was something so fantastically stupid in here that it was amazing. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I did not look at his, so I could be surprised. Um, I got this on Saturday, but I was at a convention on Saturday, so uh, I couldn't do it until now. So let's go ahead and pop this puppy open. So I can close my mouth without cutting myself this time. Alright, okay. So I'm looking here, and the first thing I see is... A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles item. Uh, they are sunglasses. I'm just going to go ahead and put them on. So I can be Sunglasses Shredder. My pimpness. Can't say that I'd actually wear these, but they are kind of cool. Maybe in a minimalist costume I'd wear these. But they kind of do fair or frame my face pretty well. The video when I'm watching it makes it look like the head. it's just a head bobbling. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Uh, officially licensed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles based off of what looks like the Nickelodeon cartoon show has been running for a while. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I gotta give that to one of my nephews or something. Um, okay, so the second thing I see here is a Blizzard blind pack that is cute but deadly. And we got, looks like a, um, looks like there's six different characters here, and then there's three variants. We have a Kerrigan, we have an Arthas, we have Sylvanas, we have a Murloc, we have Diablo, and we have something else here. I can't quite make it out. Zeratul? Zeratul, okay. Um, looks like we have three different Murlocs and two extra, two total Arthuses. Um... So there we go with that. You can see that pretty well. Go ahead and cut this open. Okay. Almost cut my titty. Thank God for shirt armor. Um, and I did... Alright, so we have a Kerrigan and a little stand. We have a Kerrigan. Look at her. Nice little sculpt there. It's kind of along the line of pop vinyls and other like mini mates and stuff like that. Uh, you get various different people that do these. Her head's, her hair's really big, but that's how Kerrigan's really drawn for the most part. So that's the what, Queen of the Zerg still for StarCraft. That's a little cool. She comes with a little base. So that's awesome. Uh, put that over to the side here. Let's see what else do we have. We have we have a mocking J pen. Um, kind of looks like a phoenix. I don't I don't do Hunger Games. I haven't even watched the movie. Have Let me take that out of here so that I get less of a glare. Uh, come on now. Come on now. All right, here we go. All right, so we have a mocking J. Pin, like the Hydra pin we got a couple of months back, and so that's kind of cool. It looks like a phoenix to me, but like I said, I have no idea what the symbolism of this is supposed to be. So may whatever always be in your favor, uh, if I'm remembering the quote right. So that's kind of cool. We have the button here, which is actually kind of rattling around in the uh, the case, and it just says Loot Crate and. November 2015, and combat, I, and I dropped it, oh, there it is, okay, um, show you that button real quick, if we can get a good zoom in on that, there's the button, um, I'm going to put the fallout thing to the side, we'll save that for later, we have, let's see, we have, Give the gift of geek loot crate from loot crate. 
Uh, at Loot Crate, we try to make our crates a special make, make our crates a special gift you'll enjoy. Use these tags to celebrate the spirit. Uh, use these tags to celebrate the spirit of the holidays and share the love of your geek geek with your geeky friends and family. Regift your loot to someone with to someone who will love it as much as you. And they're just kind of geeky tags, but the backs are kind of an orangey type thing there. So that's pretty cool. And they're like pre-punched for like, you know, lanyards or whatever to tie to the gift. But it's just to and from things that I could put on the things. We have we have a sheet of magnets. Oh, which are also cute but deadly. So we have a sheet of magnets that say have different Warcraft and Diablo characters and stuff like that. So little little magnets here and the Warcraft logo right there and Starcraft and then Diablo's over here. And then we have like Arthas and Kerrigan and I'm not sure who this dragon is down here, but we also have uh, Diablo up here in the corner and a couple other things in Cute But Deadly. So that's a magnet sheet, so that's kind of cool. Uh, this is the magazine. We'll hang on to that for later. It looks like we have an exclusive comic this time around. Uh, we have Street Fighter number one, Hyper Looting. So a special edition comic from Street Fighter and Loot Crate. Okay. So that's kind of the bottom of the box with the exception of the magazine and our Fallout toy. Let's see what we have here for Fallout. We have Fallout Vault Boy. Oh, it's a bobblehead. Okay, so it's a Vault Boy bobblehead. Uh, let's see, we're going to need a knife again. And hopefully I won't cut myself, thankfully. And we're good. I have not cut myself. This video. I've broken the streak. Okay. Pull him out. Oh, it's just a... It's a Vault Boy bobblehead like you have in the game. From Vault 111. He's a pretty good sculpt, I have to admit. I haven't started playing Fallout yet. Um, because I had to upgrade my hard drive before I could. <laughs> so we have a Vault Boy bobblehead. He seems to be made a lot better than other bobbleheads that I have seen. And of course, so like I said, it says Vault Tech right there. This may go to, my, go to work and sit on the desk. It'll give me something to punch in the face. Repeatedly, when people tell me stupid things, so we'll put him back in there. But all right, all the thing we have left is the magazine, and uh, I think we've gotten our time down to a pretty good <coughs> clip now. Box, what the box does the box has is something I can't quite figure it out. Magazine, in the way. Um, I think it's just going to be a setup to where you can put your Vault Boy. Because it's... Without completely taking it apart, you can see it's kind of like a, a stretch of road. And it's all messed up. And then you have in the front, it looks like sewer pipes. I'm not going to unfold this because I don't think it needs to be unfolded as much. Well, no, it says it does need to be unfolded. So let's... Yeah, but it's just more of the, the scene. You know, I don't think you can hold it back. Not like that, not like that. Okay, so that goes back like that. That goes and yeah it's just more of the scene but I'll show you yeah that's the inside of the box I hope you can hear me uh, oh yeah that's the inside of the box and according to what the what you call it is you're kind of supposed to stand it up 
like this. But I don't know. I don't know if it's just like there's not really anything I would think consider to be a playset to put in here except for like the Vault Boy. But it is what it is. I hope you guys are getting a look at this. It is good artwork. I mean, it's interesting, but like I said, yeah, I would I would probably not fold it up. Uh, there's some folding instructions here. I don't think I quite understand. So it is what it is. Because, yeah, because if I folded it up the way the box is supposed to go, it'd go around the side and stuff and into the back. So I'm not sure. Uh, maybe something I have to play with. But we're going to put that aside. Okay, so this month we have the combat, and I'm going to go ahead and do it like this so we can see the front cover and the back cover at the same time. And it's just kind of a fight scene. Uh, these are Ryu on the back cover. I don't know who's in the front. It kind of looks like Handsome Jack. And but there's a bunch of people on here, actually, now that I see it. Uh, there's an archer, I guess, for Hunger Games. And there's a sniper. And there's... Uh, it looks like some kind of super shredder with Casey Jones' stuff over here. You see that? This is the back cover. It's an interesting piece of artwork. I, I like it. So that's good. So let's take a look at what we actually have here. We have... Uh, let's see... Cosman Pudor article. We have... Lola Re Binkard. These don't really make any sense. Jenny... Oh, these are the contributors. Okay. I'm reading names, thinking they're table of contents. Okay, so let's just start in the book. So we have, are you ready for combat? And it kind of gives you a little list of people who contributed and a small little article there. Uh, welcome to, welcome and thanks for joining us. This month we're exploring the fun, fanatical fighters who take crazy combat to exaggerated arenas with exclusive items from Fallout 4, cute but deadly in Street Fighter, plus a few more items including something from the Hunger Games to help you combat boredom. Uh, our feature articles include an examination of video game rivalries, a look at kids fighting kids in fiction, and an overview of your YouTube channel. And an overview of our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel, not mine, theirs. Um, and of course, you'll find a description of all the products in the crate starting on page 18. I guess they took away the actual table of contents. So this is just the contributors list of people who did stuff for the crate and for the magazine. Uh, keep fighting the good fight, Team Loot Crate. Okay, so we have this month's looters. We show us pictures of people who playing with their looty stuff from last month. And I am not on there because I did not send in a picture. Uh, epic video game rivalries. We have Ken and Ryu, an old paragraph about that. Scorpion Cup Zero, Mario and Bowser, Red and Blue versus Ash and Gary. It's just little articles about their rivalries. Basic, you know, I guess basic information to let people know. We have, let me go back. Uh, Loot Crate on YouTube. And I guess it's little articles about some of the, how, what types of videos they put up. So, must have ran out of ideas for this month's stuff. Um, we have on the next page, we have a description of the Mega Crate, which the Mega Crate this month had. Let's see. A wearable Mega Man helmet. A Ryu statue. And I just had eye, uh, I just had a kind of a minor eye surgery, so I'm having trouble reading this stuff. Uh, looks like a Street Fighter V messenger bag with a Super Street Fighter V like battle controller. You can see all this stuff right here. Like, this is the Ryu's thing, and then that's, well, it's over here. Wait, wait. 
as the wearable helmet and the fighting pad and looks like the messenger bag is above it. I'm not sure what this is right here because I can't read the little stuff that they have here. Um, it's like some comics and some other things right over here. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just kind of winging through this. The mini crate is this stuff here, which looks like a Fallout 4 vest, uh, just a hoodie for Vault 111, and a um, dog meat plush so that's kind of cool and then let's see we have an article called kids versus kids um, it's a couple of pages long I'm not sure what the silhouette of the guy there was supposed to be we have an interview with Kyle Edwards uh, who is, is known to fans around the world as a promoter ring announcer and commentator uh, and host for WWE uh, okay so he's a host for WWE oh yeah they, it's got a WWE experience thing on the TV screen behind his promo photo but, uh, I've never heard of him and I watch WWE well I don't watch it very religiously anymore but I used to so I guess he's either a new guy or behind the scenes or something Okay, so we have, in this month's loot, we have the Cute But Deadly Magnet set and the Fallout Boy uh, bobblehead. And we have, on the next page, we have the Shredder glasses and the Comic and the Mockingjay uh, pin. And then we have a two-page spread on the button. And the different uh, figures that you could have got. I kind of wish I could have gotten Diablo. I may have to get Diablo at some point. But it shows a picture of pretty much all of them right there. And that's really cool. I wish I had gotten Diablo, but Kerrigan's fucking awesome as well. Uh, the magnets, I will probably just throw on my refrigerator because, you yeah, know, they're cute but deadly. Uh, the bobblehead I'm really considering taking to my office and putting it on my desk and tormenting uh, the guy that's across me who is actually playing Fallout. Who bought an Xbox One just for Fallout. Uh, but he doesn't have this, and I do. Uh, <laughs> unless he's got Loot Crate and I just don't know it. Um, the tags I will probably not use. The button will just get thrown back in the box like it always does. The pin, uh... I don't know. I may give it to somebody I know who does this. I, I, I'm not, my brother read them, but I didn't read them. So maybe I'll send it to him for Christmas if he's lucky. The shredder glasses, I actually think of the, the most, I think was what my buddy was talking about. There's something so bad in here. It's hilarious. So, and I just kind of, it looks kind of funny on the video when I do this. And it kind of looks, well, it kind of looks like the the shredder thing is floating, but I now I've noticed that my I can watch my shoulders. But before it just I was focused on the shredder thing, and it kind of looked funny when I was doing this. I don't know if it looks funny to you now, but it is what it is. And if it makes me laugh, I like it. Uh, so what else do we have? We had the bobblehead. Oh, we had Kerrigan. We got little Kerrigan here. I don't know if I'll take her to work or not, but I'll definitely put her up somewhere. She has a little stand with her, just in case you guys didn't see. Um, it may just become one of my desk ornaments here at home, but yeah, all this is pretty good. Um, uh, I actually, <laughs> I find these funnier than I actually would think anything else. So I'm hoping that's what he thinks of uh, as the Kerrigan's really neat. It's a good sculpt. The bobblehead's really cool. It's a, it's a, it's a nice sculpt. I want to take, like I said, I really want to take that to work and just every time somebody says something stupid, I'm just going to think of it in the face. <laughs> so, uh, with that being said, that's all we have uh, for this month's loot crate. Not a great crate, but still a good crate. Uh, I really like the bobblehead. I like the sunglasses, even though I'm never going to wear them. The magnets I'll probably use. Uh, the only thing I really don't know what I'm going to do with, like, I, I, I've never opened these and read them. And I just never really had the intention to. Um, and I like Street Fighter, but I don't know. The artwork looks really good. This is Guile and Vega and Sabat. Uh, Sabat, God. Uh, S. Bison, or M. Bison. And I think that's Chun-Li upside down over here. 
Yeah, Chun Li's fighting some Vega in the background. In case you didn't see that, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, a solid crate, but you know, not not perfect, not a perfectly great crate. Um, but hey, it's good. Uh, if you want to uh, get loot crate for yourself, you can hit my link in the bottom. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I don't make any money, but hey, numbers is numbers, and the more people who like and comment might, you know, up my numbers a little bit. Like I said, I'm not making any money out of this. As of this uh, video, I have something like 523 views, or 26 views, and 14 subscribers, of which I thank all of you, um, especially the people I don't know, <laughs> which is like two or three people. I have no idea who are that subscribe to me, uh, but that's fun. Uh, you know, maybe a vandalier of this and just kind of these buttons and post like put it on my wall somewhere, get a strip of fabric, and especially after the next months, so do a, a yearly button run on a piece of fabric and like hang it on my wall or something. That actually sounds like a good idea to do these loot crate buttons with. But uh, with that being said, we're gonna end this uh, 22 minute video and uh. We will see you next month.